President Philip Nyusi, President of the Republic of Mozambique, Honorable Ministers, Governors of the various provinces that are here, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I would just thank you, my dear brother, Your Excellency, President Nyusi, President of the Republic of Mozambique, for inviting me to this special event on the launch of the Pemba Lichinga Integrated Development Corridor Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zone. This is indeed a special day for many reasons. A special day for the people of Pemba and Lichinga. A special day for the people of Nyasa province. A special day for the agriculture sector in Mozambique. A special day for you, Mr. President, for your vision and drive to diversify the economy of Mozambique, to modernize the agriculture sector by developing a more productive and competitive agricultural value chains. A special day for the youth to enhance their skills and to also create a lot of jobs. Mr. President, I am here with you personally today, especially for this event, because I want to say to you that the African Development Bank strongly supports you, I support you, and we strongly support Mozambique. This is because the people of Mozambique are resilient. In the face of many challenges from COVID-19 to devastating cyclones, and now the insecurity in the northern provinces. Mozambique continues to defy the odds and push forward its development. This is one people, one nation, that cannot be discouraged, that cannot be distressed, and that cannot be destroyed. The recent insecurity challenges in the northern part of Mozambique have posed new challenges to the political, economic, and social developments of Mozambique. To help build resilience in the conflict-affected areas of northern Mozambique, in the three provinces of Cabo Delgado, Nyasa, and Nampula, the African Development Bank has invested over $500 million in the past eight years, mostly in roads and in infrastructure. The bank has also invested $1 billion in the northern province in the previous years. The bank has provided technical assistance as well for the development of the Northern Mozambique Recovery and Integrated Development Strategy, the ERDN, together with the European Union, the World Bank, and the United Nations. Mr. President, we are financing the Moeda Negomano Road connecting the highlands of Cabo Delgado with Tanzania as part of the SADC Sub-Regional Transport and Trade Facilitation Project, linking four major corridors, the North-South, Nakala, Biera, and Mtwara. The African Development Bank has helped to structure the $25 billion liquefied natural gas project, the LNG Rovuma Area 1 project. During the Africa Investment Forum in 2018, and we as a bank have invested equity of $400 million into this project. I wish to commend you, Mr. President, for your determination in the face of the terrorist attacks in the project region, the massive displacement of people, the loss of thousands of lives which we regret. I'd like to also commend the amazing leadership, friendship, and support provided by your dear friend, President Paul Kagame, the President of Rwanda, by President Cyril Ramaphosa of South Africa, and the rest of the heads of states of the Sada countries. It was a show of total solidarity with you. Today, thanks to your leadership, the sacrifice of your own armed forces for Mozambique, supported by these countries, 
the project is back on track. A major win for Mozambique. Please put your hand together for your president. But today is about agriculture. And people know when it's about agriculture, I get extremely excited. The African Development Bank is financing with $43 million the first phase of the Pemba Lichinga Corridor Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zones, which is being officially launched today by you, Mr. President. I wish to congratulate the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, and the Investment and Export Promotion Agency, APEX, the Implementing Agency, for their hard work in making this official launch a reality. A reality that will bring hope. A reality that will bring jobs. A reality that will transform rural economies of Pemba and the rural economies of Lichinga. The Pemba Lichinga Integrated Development Corridor is strategically located. Its hub in Kwamba is serviced by a rail line from Lichinga to the Nakala Seaport and by several airports in Nyasa, Nampula, and Cabo Delgado provinces. The Pemba Lichinga Integrated Development Corridor Special Agro Industrial Processing Zone will increase food production and productivity. It will improve the quality of wheat, and we saw a lot of that in the, as we went through the exhibitions, from wheat to beans to maize to cotton to poultry. It will support the promotion of new technologies and storage facilities. I was very happy to see the commodity exchange and those that are also doing trade facilitation as I walk right through the exhibitions. When the first phase is completed, about 30,000 people will be directly employed at a farm level. Women will hold at least 50% of these jobs. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, special agro-industrial processing zones will revolutionize the way that we feed ourselves as a population. They will improve agricultural productivity, create unprecedented business opportunities, unleash the entrepreneurial spirit of Africa's women and youth, and empower smallholders. I am particularly excited about the large numbers of women and youth who will create wealth and see their earnings boost, boosted substantially by these zones. Africa is blessed of God. We have all it takes to feed ourselves, and of course all it takes to feed even the rest of the world. Africa has 65% of all the remaining uncultivated arable land left to feed the world. Our agriculture and food market in Africa will rise to $1 trillion by 2030. And that's just eight years from now. And therefore, what Africa does with its agriculture will determine the future of food in the world. And what you do with your agriculture will determine your role and participation in the new wealth of a trillion dollars that is coming. Here in Mozambique and in other parts of Africa, special agro-industrial processing zones lie at the core of our ambition and strategy to turn Africa from a net importer of food into a net exporter of food. If there was ever a time, Mr. President, that we needed to raise food production drastically, that time is now. As we were walking up here, Mr. President said to me, we were in the, we were walking through the exhibition. We got over there and there were these women that were, I was tempted to take some of the food uh, that they had prepared. And the president made a statement which caught my attention. He said, even with the war in Russia, I think with this we can actually take care of ourselves. And let me say, just on digressing towards that, 
that war you find of Russia in Ukraine is having a massive impact on food for Africa. Russia and Ukraine account for more than 54% of wheat and maize consumed in Africa. Russia's export to Africa last year was roughly $4 billion. 90% of that was wheat. If you go to your neighbors in Eastern Africa, 90% of their maize and wheat actually comes from these two countries. Therefore, this war has driven up the price of food. The price of wheat has gone up by 64%. It has come to the same level it was during the food crisis, global food crisis of 2008. So if you think the war is so far away, you will feel it in your pockets. You will feel it in the lives of poor households who have to spend most of their income buying food. That's now very, very expensive. And that's why, Mr. President, we move quickly at the bank. Because when COVID-19 started, we were not ready as a continent. We didn't have personal protective equipment. We didn't have testing kits. We didn't have the good infrastructure to do it. But Mr. President, to protect a food crisis in Africa and to protect a massive food price inflation, we are fully ready to take on that battle and make sure it doesn't happen in Africa. Let me tell you why I'm so confident of that, Mr. President. We have a program called Technologies for African Agricultural Transformation. This program brings together the global agricultural research centers, the national agricultural research centers, the seed companies, the fertilizer companies, the agro-processors. And it delivers technologies at scale of millions of farmers. Take the case of Sudan. In two crop seasons, Mr. President, we provided for Sudan, through this program, 65,000 metric tons of certified seed, of wheat. And the wheat varieties are not the temperate wheat variety. Wheat grows in a cold environments. These wheat are heat-tolerant wheat varieties that grow in actually very hot environments. 65,000 metric tons we were able to get yields of seven tons per hectare. And just to give you an idea, Mr. President, of what 65,000 metric tons of that seed is, if you take Airbus A380, which is the largest passenger aircraft you have, the people in it, the cargo and the fuel, the total weight is 98.4 metric tons. So if you take 65,000 metric tons of seed, that is the equivalent of 666 A3 aircraft, Airbus 380 aircraft on landing strips. Just give you an idea of what that is. In two crop seasons, not two years, in two crop seasons, Sudan produced 1.5 million metric tons of, of wheat. They reduced their wheat import by 50%. We did the same, Mr. President, in Ethiopia. You can ask your friend and brother, Prime Minister Abe. We provided them 65,000 metric tons of certified seed of these heat torrent lines. They produced 1.1 million metric tons of wheat. They reduced their wheat import by 50% in two crop seasons. So I am fully confident, Mr. President, that we have the technology, we have the delivery platform. We just simply need to mobilize the financing to make sure that we can do this. I used to be the regional director of the Rockefeller Foundation in the 90s, based in Zimbabwe. I was in charge of Southern Africa region in those days. And there was a young scientist from Switzerland that came to my office and said she could develop new maize varieties that are tolerant to drought. I funded it. It's called Water Efficient Maize for Africa. When drought hit in Eastern Africa in 2019, 
we deployed those technologies to 5.2 million households. And that's why we were able to avoid a food crisis. And that's why the African Development Bank has launched now, to avoid this crisis, a facility request for a billion dollars to allow Africa to produce wheat, rice, maize, and soybean. 30 million metric tons. I was very happy seeing the wheat and the, and, the, and, the, and the rice and the maize out there. 30 million metric tons. And that will be a value of $12 billion. And that will allow us to avoid a food crisis. And that's the power of the agro-processing zones that you see here. Mr. President, the African Development Bank is investing $750 million to set up special agro-industrial processing zones in 11 countries. We will create these zones in Mozambique, in Cote d'Ivoire, in Ethiopia, in Guinea, in Madagascar, in Mali, in Senegal, and Togo, and others as well. We are planning to do that also in the Democratic Republic of Congo, in Liberia, in Kenya, Mauritius, Nigeria, South Africa, Tanzania, and Uganda. No one will be left behind because we must feed Africa. God did not make stomachs to be empty. He made them to be filled. So the launch of the Pemba Lichinga Integrated Developments Corridor Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zones today shows that Mozambique is ahead. Your Excellency President in UC, Mozambique is staying ahead because of your government's program for industrialization of Mozambique. Mozambique is staying ahead because of your strategy for resilience and integrated development of northern Mozambique. Mozambique is staying ahead because of your visionary leadership for the National Agricultural Development Program that you launched. Your vision for Mozambique, Mr. President, will deliver better inclusive growth for Mozambique. Mr. President, the Pemba Lichinga Integrated Development Corridor, which we are launching today, will be the next chapter of a success story about inclusive growth, wealth creation, and a better quality of life for everyone in Mozambique. Thank you, Mr. President, for your confidence in the African Development Bank, your trusted partner, your bank. You can count on the African Development Bank. We promise, we deliver. I cannot wait to come back here to see how the Pemba Lichinga Integrated Development Corridor Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zone has transformed lives and communities. Together, we can make it happen, so let's do it. Congratulations, thank you very much, and may God bless Republic of Mozambique.